Can you DJ with a Bluetooth speaker? Is there a delay that's going to mess up your mixing? And can you use headphones when you're DJing with a Bluetooth speaker? I'm going to answer all those questions in this short video. So yes, you can DJ with Bluetooth and yes, there is a bit of a delay, but I'm going to show you guys some tips on how to adjust your DJ style. So if you want to connect a Bluetooth speaker, it's a little bit frustrating. So right now, DJ Pro is open. The audio is coming out of the actual device. If I press the middle button here, I could go to audio device settings and I don't see any other audio devices. So now I'm going to turn on this Bluetooth speaker and then connect it. Speaker is turned on, but it's not connected. So now you're going to have to go to your regular settings inside your device and go to Bluetooth, find the device. So now I'm going to connect to the JBL Pulse, Pulse 3. Oh, yeah. So now the music is coming out of there. But if we go to our audio devices, speaker, we can't find it. So this threw me off a little bit. All you have to do is exit out of the app and then relaunch it after you're connected to Bluetooth. So now if I, so now I exited out and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to relaunch the app. So the app is relaunched. Now when I go back to settings, audio devices, there it is, the JBL Pulse 3. Now, if you have multiple other devices, maybe there's a wired speaker or you're connected to a TV or something, it's good to have it pop up here. So you just have to relaunch the app and now our audio is coming out of the speaker. But there is a slight delay. So with the Bluetooth controller, there is no delay with Bluetooth MIDI function, similar to if you play Xbox or play PlayStation, there's no delay because if you're playing a game, you have to have the exact response. So it's the same thing with the controller, there's no delay. There is going to be a delay if you try to scratch or if you try to do stuff. So I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but I'm going to do a scratch. So look, scratch. And then it takes a little bit. It's hard to notice when you're listening to it. But if you're trying to scratch on beat, if you're trying to scratch on beat by listening, it is going to be really hard. Also, if you do other tricks like echoes, outs, and stuff like that, where your timing has to be perfect, and then obviously if you're doing beat matching, it's going to be hard. But you can adjust your DJ style to use visual cues. So DJ Pro has these amazing waveforms. So once you know what to do with the waveforms, you can basically hear what it's gonna sound like. Or if you're doing something like scratching, you could scratch with the visual cues instead of the audio. So that's one way. And then you could also just do simple mixes, letting one song play out into the next one, doing a quick echo out, or just doing simple mixes, let one song end, let play another one, or you could drop a new song at a good beat at a spot where everyone knows. So there's a lot of very simple mixing techniques that you could still DJ and have fun with Bluetooth speakers, which is a lot more convenient. Now let's talk about headphones. So this is connected with Bluetooth. So now to split the output, we're gonna need one of these to connect into our iPad. And then we're going to need a splitter. Or do we need a splitter? But maybe we don't need a splitter because our audio is coming out of the speaker. Do that. Audio devices, pre-queuing. No, it messes it up. So if you want to do pre-queuing with the output splitter, you are going to need to have a hardwired speaker or just be DJing with the speakers on your iPad. And if you want to see my full pre-queuing tutorial, check out this video over here. Thank you.